Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here and I'm here with week five of the 12 weeks of Christmas which is being held by Scrimping Mommy in Create with Scrimping Mommy, a group on Facebook and every Monday the group is issued with free di digital papers designed by Amanda, Scrimping Mummy, and we are asked then to make a little Christmas something and she is making this available right up until Christmas time and whatever amounts to the 12 weeks in that period. Well, we're almost halfway there now. The kits have just gone and got better and better and better. This week's was a three page and this is the background which I think you'll agree is beautifully, beautifully festive. And then there is a page, oh, I better show the original of this which is the little girl and the tag, 25th and the holly sprigs which I then went on and um, made smaller by changing the orientation of the page as I printed it. There is another page, do you know, and I count for the life of me. One, two and three. Right, now it's... It, is that three? Totally disorganised as always. Now I can't find clippings from the third sheet, so please bear with me. Um, there are three sheets. I printed them out myself. <laughs> what more can I say to you? Oh, yeah, it was a sheet with um, these little pocket envelopes on and smaller, uh, a smaller tag and some other bits and pieces for fussy cutting. So do bear with me. I've not actually used this with the little cherubs on it primarily because I like the background paper and I wanted to keep it all in, a, a, you know me and my compulsion with keeping things in sets. Anyway, to cut a long story short and onward we go, I have actually made a loaded envelope and here it is. It's quite sizeable, hence why it is not entirely stuffed to the gunnels because that would have taken a few more sheets to be printed out. As it was, I've done three background, um, one of the smaller orientation of the little girl and two of the other pages to make this project. It's a really large envelope, nine inches by nearly, well, nearly six and a half so that's six one two three four five six at six and six eighths so we're we're almost at six and a half inches um it is crafts card stock as i'm sure you can already see because i have um on the on what would be the front of the envelope left a border but everywhere else i've kept it fairly well um covered and i've used a little bit of this ribbon and then cut out these little discs I think they're one and three eighths and then just cut out Noel for a little something of decoration on the front part of the envelope because this in actuality wouldn't be seen very much this project is all about what is inside the um, envelope but it would as I'm showing you fit into a slightly larger envelope or a padded envelope and still quite go quite nicely through the post which is what I endeavour to do. Um, the idea in case you don't know about this little um, group standby is that we have 12 pieces of Christmas styled projects made to help with whatever happens at Christmas so all of that said we'll go over to the front and I'll open this up 
and there you will see if I turn it around that way it's rather large when it's opened but if I start with the flap we can then almost um, put it away from there that can go back but it is designed to you could always stand it up on, on a stand and it is designed to be utilised or not as the case may be I've put a little bit of gold mirror board behind the number and a layer of the background paper so that it's all in keeping and that represents that little plaque excuse my phone so when we look at the body of the envelope if I take everything out you will then see it as it is when you look at the body of the envelope I've got another little bit of that green ribbon here which was also on the front I fussy cut around um, the sprigs of holly and fussy cut out the little girl and then added the mandatory as far as I'm concerned stickles to make it all glitter and glow I then went on to make a matchbook style notebook again using that image I've used glitter card this time it's a bronze colour that I bought many many years ago and peel out periodically very very plain inside but you've got your little catch here to catch the front cover and then this can lift out it's only uh, stapled bits of paper so that can be renewed and replaced at will but it is a lovely little wallet thing that you know you might want to put your Christmas shopping list on or something of that nature so I thought that was quite in keeping with the theme and it fills the envelope quite nicely again very plain on the back I will put something along there I'd forgotten to do that and it'll only be a length of this card again just so that no one damages their fingers on the back side of the staples it's always a danger when you do a project like this and it's easily remedied and I do like to you know as I say cover it and make it safe for anyone that receives this excuse my phone Oh my lord, it goes on and on and on just when you don't want it to. I then went on to make tags. This is the first one and that is the little image on the other page that I haven't got available to, to share with you because I really did use all of that mirror board in the back. I then cut out these smaller circles, put Noel on the front again the um, holly and berries and lined this has got a green background I'm tending and craft card and the um, overall background paper I'm tending to utilize whatever I've got available to make these little projects rather than um, opening up or, or, or breaking into new supplies these things go on and on and on this is American Crafts stock which I think I've used fairly consistently between the um, five four videos I missed the first one between the four videos that I've done but it was a 12 by 12 piece and I'm not into waste I've frayed up this ribbon on the top just glued the two sides through the uh, grommet here and that is self-explanatory and that will fit in behind the notebook. I am going to tuck that under like so so that it doesn't get all bent out of shape when the uh, envelope is closed. This is another tag I did and I've just made an aperture here, put some um, Oh my lord, what's it called? <laughs> it's gone. This stuff. Whatever it's called, I've forgotten. I can't remember. It's out of my head and gone. That's my phone giving me grief again. And then I've used this cutout and it is joy. 
with the what I'm uh, assuming is the Star of Bethlehem. Again, green on the back with a liberal splattering of uh, stickles. And that is that one. Same little decoration in the top, in keeping with the band of that ribbon that goes across the envelope here, which keeps it all lovely and festive. And then this is the main tag that comes with the kit, and I believe fits into, yeah, if you don't mat and layer them, they fit into the pockets that are available in the kit but I do like the little girl I wanted to mat and layer use the same ribbon closure there and just you know keep it all so that when it's opened it looks like a very festive event with lots and lots going on and then the one envelope that I did use I've just put the stickles on and it all comes out ready to cut and glue once you fold it along the dotted lines you know anybody can do this kind of work it is beautifully beautifully designed to allow even somebody that hadn't perhaps met an envelope in this way before to cut it out and immediately put it together which is ideal for everyone and in here I've got a rather plain uh, little ATC. I've not put anything on the back. It is just purely plain but I thought well you know it's nice if, if you used everything else. ATCs are highly swappable. It's nice to have something like that available to you to share or pass on if that's what you wanted to do. I mean the whole thing could be split up and sent out. It's one of those very versatile put togethers that you know could make several people happy just by sending out in different ways. So if I widen out again so you get one final look at it. There it is in all its festive wonderment. I do like a bit of glitz and glimmer and it seems a lot of my subscribers do, do, which <laughs> do too which I am eternally happy about because there's nothing worse than putting on the glitz and having no one appreciate what you've tried to do. So that is the project for week five. I hope you've enjoyed sharing it with me and that you feel inspired to do something similar yourself. It is such an easy project to put together and quite a bit of fun and furthermore something that you can pick up and put down if you've got a busy lifestyle and just come back to when the moment is right to make another little element for the envelope. Take care everyone, I will link Scrimping Mommy below. Do follow the links to her channel and links from there which will take you to wherever she's available including the group on Facebook. Bye-bye for now. Happy crafting.